Come along with me and my best friend whilst we explore Paris and visit some of its most iconic landmarks. To make Bella's upcoming birthday unforgettable, I surprised her with a full day of Parisian adventures. Capped off with a spectacular performance at the Moulin Rouge. Ready to see what we got up to in the City of Lights? Let's dive in. I'm taking Bella to her little surprise activities. Yeah, that involves a lot of freaking stairs. <laughs> we need to walk the steps of Sacre Coeur. So many stairs. <laughs> Bella's shin splints are My not going to have this. My shin splints are not going to hold up well for this. I hate you. Pretty sure it is that way, actually. Oh. Bailey, if you're editing this, I hate you. Currently headed off to, uh, it's called like Tutu de or something. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen now, but we're walking through like a little really cute Parisian street and I'm obsessed. We did! Just. We survived the stairs, just about. Yeah. After tackling the famous stairs of Montmartre, or Montmartre, yeah. we're just gonna have to acknowledge that all my French is gonna be awful for the remainder of this video, okay? We treated ourselves to a lovely little meal in Place du Terte. Nice. So, we found a little restaurant. This is the place that I took Bella as her little surprise day out. Yeah, Bella's birthday is next month. We were almost going to come here for your birthday. Yeah. But I don't know. I think I complained or something. You did. Said no. I dare you. Bailey thought he had a job lined up, but it's moved to next year. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. No, it wasn't actually. You wanted to do Camp America. That was it. That was uh, it. So, I then realised that I'm not a massive fan of kids. But yeah, we're in a little French restaurant. I'm getting mille marguerite avec frites, which is mussels and a white wine sauce with chips. I'm probably getting a margarita pizza. I'm really cultured. And because the weather's nice, I might get an apple spritz. Apple is it spritz. even midday? Yes, actually it is. Okay, there we go. Anyways, time to order. I order mussels and Bella hates seafood, so she, she can't stand the smell. And then I surprised Bella with a portrait drawing. We both got our portraits done and they were so, so nice. I'll show you a little bit later on in the video. Me and Bella got portraits done, but hers took a little while longer than mine, so I've had a little walk around and bought some art. This square is known for its artists. Every artist there needs a special permit to be able to sell their art there. Now, these permits are highly coveted, and when an artist gets one, it only lasts five years. Bella's done with her portrait. She really yes. likes it. I like mine as well. Mine did not take anywhere near as long, but the artist told me whenever I frame mine, it has to be something modern and something simple. I'm not allowed to use like a big frame. Bella, are you are you happy with yours? I'm very happy with mine. Vintagey vibes, so I'm here. <laughs> very that. Bella, in other words. Very me. Anyways, we're having a little wander. Then we're gonna go to the Sacre Coeur, and then we're meeting our friend who works in Disneyland Paris because we haven't seen him in a very long time. Our journey to Sacre Coeur was magical. As we climbed the stairs, the majestic cathedral loomed above, guiding our way. Once at the top, we were spellbound, torn between the stunning view of Paris and the awe-inspiring Sacre Coeur itself. Inside, the cathedral's towering ceilings and intricate artwork left us in awe. It was oh, so pretty. We actually got to watch a religious ceremony. Not entirely sure what was happening, but some bells sounded and we just sat. Kind of a wholesome experience. And then we both got splashed with holy water. So I don't know what that means. Am I blessed now? Is that what that means? I don't know. I did actually have an allergic reaction to it though. After the holy water got on me, I came up in like hives along my hand and I was like, oh, that's probably not good. <laughs> oh, oh, it was so funny. We're on the carousel. Nice. So cute, cute vibes. And look at it, it's adorable. It's 5 p.m. <laughs> Mon Mat Carousel. Bring five friends. We spent the best part of the morning and the afternoon in Montmartre. It was time to head back into central Paris, where we were going to meet a friend that me and Bella haven't seen in a very long time. We shared a coffee and a ketchup before we all went home. Somebody was throwing out a bunch of French books and they were just all sat on the street and it's about to rain so me and Bella just picked a Take couple of lives. Yeah. Oh. So this ended up being a little bit of a scam. Bella stopped to get one of these like side profile things done and I saw like what they were doing and then he started to do mine and I was like no merci no merci and then I was like you know what it's actually kind of cute. So yeah we let him off and decided to get them in the end. Et voila! It's me! Oh you can't really see it because of the light. Wait there we go. Look how gorgeous this is. It looks better in person. But it's like a watercolor painting that I had to sit for. Um, this cost me 50 euros, but it's so cute. And I think it's such a nice souvenir from holiday. Actually so, so cute, I love it. Me and Ben left Bella to continue getting ready whilst we went out to get some wine and some snacks because me and Bella forgot to prepare dinner that evening. My French wine. Here's Ben. Hello. He's the friend that works at this name. But we've just gone to the shop and got some girls in there. Wine. Wine, wine. first of all. And then some Madeleine for Bella. These weird donut biscuit things I want to try. Some um, crisps, something like a crisp for Ben and some meringues. But we're going to eat them 
and drink the wine before me and Bella go to Milan Rouge. Sailing! Oh shit. Ooh. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> You've got... This is those weird donut oh, biscuit things. Do you want to Yeah, it's like, oh, it's flaking. Did you want one? Well, I mean, I will at some point. Oh, it smells like really almondy. Mmm. It's like lemony and lemon. I think it's like a lemon cake covered in. It's nice, actually. I like it. We finally got ready for the evening's finale. Our friend Ben went home, and then after taking some photos outside the Moulin Rouge, it was time to queue up before going in to see the show. <laughs> the dancers were incredible. There were a few too many boobs for my liking, but I could look past that and acknowledge the talent. Moulin Rouge time! Yeah. Here we go, baby! Oh, are you okay? I should be falling. We're both the exact same thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> The Moulin Rouge was insane. A pool came out of the ground and there was a girl drowning. Yeah, I think, well, I think she was like kidnapped. I think she was like a slave. Yeah. From what I got. It was and then Medusa was in it as well. Yeah, that was that, so random. Yeah, the storyline was a tad confusing. Well, it's fine because it ate. Yeah, it ate. So. Well, I do not look like a rat. Bae, you look gorgeous all the time. I don't look like a rat right now. There was like some like men and they were basically balancing on each other. That was impressive. That was so and then some dude flew over us and was like right there, directly above our table, yeah. singing to his, his friend <laughs> who was dangling over there. He's a lover. Like above somebody else's table. It was crazy. What else happened? There was a staircase that came down from the ceiling. Oh yeah. Staircase descended from the ceiling. There was some weird, weird stuff. There was a lot more scene than I think. Oh yeah, there was a lot of scene. Really and there was like a, there was a French narrator over the top as well, wasn't there? French narrator. My French isn't that good. I couldn't understand most of it. I could pick out a few words and be like, oh, okay. It was just so good. I can't believe you've seen the Moulin Rouge. That is just crazy to me. Anyways, back to the apartment. Successful end to a great day. And we're gonna be up in less than six hours to get to the Louvre. Louvre. The Louvre tomorrow. Bella's laughing at me because I can never get the pronunciation right. It was a pretty chill day today. We only did maybe three or four things. That's the best way to tourist. Let everyone think that you're a local and have a wander around. I hope you enjoyed this little travel vlog. If you want to see some more travel vlogs, check out this one here or this one here. Maybe this one here because that's the one that YouTube thinks you'll like the best. And if you've enjoyed hearing me ramble, then how about subscribing in this little ball thing like about here? Or maybe it's up here. I don't know where it is. Please do drop a like because it helps the channel out a bunch. And I will see you in the next one. I love making these videos. Even if no one watches them. I don't care. I love it. Anyway, bye.